The major update for Derail Valley is here, called Derail Valley Overhaul. The All Future Studio gave their fans what they wanted to be the initial release state of Derail Valley, a game that is still in early access with upcoming features still in development. But today we can enjoy this virtual train sandbox with some amazing add-ons. But as all things come together, to ensure a smooth gameplay, How I Play will talk about an issue that persists in many VR games today. The joystick or thumbstick drifting that causes unwanted movement of the camera and brings with it game-breaking issues followed by a bad headache. Do not worry, we have a solution. First, let's see an example of joystick drifting in action. In the option menu of the game we have set the movement type as continuous and the rotation from the snap view to smooth. This, paired together with a steady FPS, won't cause any problems or headaches for the more strong stomach types that can withstand a rotation or smooth movement with a camera in VR. And now I use the thumbstick to move, and as you can see, after you move a drift starts to happen. It is subtle, but trust me, you feel it in VR. Even if you use the teleport trying to stay in place, the drifting persists. Now, to get to the bottom of the issue, we need to go in Steam VR menu access by pressing one of the controller thumbstick in. Then you click settings in the bottom right corner. Usually the advanced settings are turned off, so don't worry if you don't have them on, you won't need them for this setup. Click controllers and after that manage controller bindings. In here your view will look like this, with the default settings. You will click on Custom, then edit this binding. This complicated menu will pop up, don't get overwhelmed with the information displayed here, it is quite simple. Let's scroll down using the thumbstick. We watch the left side carefully until we see Joystick. We select the tab and click on the pen icon to unlock for Edit. Then we click on the Settings icon on the right side of the tab. This will open the input settings and over here we want to change the dead zone from 0 to 20. If you mess up something, you have the tabs on the right to reset to default, so don't worry. After that, close. Check to see that the icon mirror mode is on, so the other controller gets the same settings. And then let's save it as a personal binding. In here you can rename it as Derail Valley or 20 dead zone setup, however you wish. Hit save, make sure you wait, sometimes the click doesn't work. Try it again until the window gets closed. And that's it. Always remember that with mirror mode the other joystick gets the same settings. Like this you don't need to edit it again. Let's go back, let's get into our library and back in the game to test it. Now here we are. Let's move the left controller and see if the drifting is gone. Yes, everything seems to be as it should. No more drifting and moonwalking. You can now enjoy operating your trains, getting in and out of buildings and get a grip on your locomotive duty for the day. And that's how I play. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful tips on how to play your favorite games and simulators. Stay safe.